You're wasting time with Arrow Productions. Lots of movies are made from books, maybe even most of them. Along the way, things change. Details get reworked. And before you know it, the only thing that's the same is the title. Here are three examples. Rebel Without a Cause. This book came out in 1944. It was a profile of a criminal psychopath. If you look at it in the context of the times, this was someone with very serious problems. In the past, I've talked to people who remember the World War II years. 1944 was the year all of the men were taken. Draft boards and recruiters looked the other way and made excuses every chance they got. If someone was still locked up in 1944, there was a reason. Harold, the man profiled, was the product of some ethnic tension. His father was Polish and never quite learned English. In turn, Harold never learned much Polish. Along with being a personal profile, this book is also a regional profile. It describes the lost world of the Boston area with all of its working class social clubs, auto repair shops, and sh so on. This picture has the general look portrayed in the book, but it's from New Bedford in 1941. The first tentative attempt at making a movie was in 1947 with Marlon Brando. His screen test survives. The scenes portrayed are from the book, and some of the attitude made it into the later movie. Most likely, only a few scenes were written, but a complete screenplay based on the book would have been very interesting. The 1955 movie only had the title from the original. These were good kids, as the vernacular at the time put it. They were just prone to misunderstandings once in a while. Even the villains of the piece weren't that bad. All of them could have easily been drafted back in 1944. The 1996 book, Under the Tuscan Sun, is about the author and her boyfriend buying property in Tuscany and fixing it up. They have a hard time with the contractors, which include some Polish workers. Most of the book is about the remodeling process and the meals they ate along the way. It is very much a non-fiction book with lots of detail. The 2003 movie is a romantic comedy with a Shakespearean subplot involving one of the Polish workers. The sidekick, played by Sandra O, oh, along with her character's friends, were not in the book. Of course, the movie still takes place in Tuscany and has lots of great scenery. The Love Boats was a book by Geraldine Saunders about her time as the first female cruise director. She first got a job on a ship by saying that she spoke Spanish and Italian. She didn't, but she managed to pick them up along the way. She mentioned some struggling when growing up. She and her brother helped her mother fix up properties to sell in Los Angeles during a largely flat real estate market. Most of the book was about the cold calculations that went into her job. She had to keep people happy, even when they clearly weren't. Rain on an excursion was a time for free drinks. She often had to navigate the passengers' myriad problems, particularly hookups that imploded before the boats were ashore. She worked very long hours setting up events, administering them, and negotiating the personalities along the way. The TV movies that kicked off the series were not like the book at all. The Love Boat showed a cruise ship from the view of the passengers. Their crew starred, but they never broke a sweat. Everything was easy for them. Julie, the cruise director, was always there, but never a main character. She showed up once in a while and didn't have the personality of Geraldine Saunders or anyone else. What movies have you seen that were different from their books? Let us know in the comments.